And here's another three letter acronym to add to your CSSP flashcard stack. CAT, also known as a... The CSSP exam has moved to a CAT exam format, and we want to remove a lot of the mystery surrounding the exam. So we're going to talk about what a CAT is, how it works, and we're also going to take a tour of CyberVista's CSSP CAT simulation. So the best way to understand an adaptive test is to visualize it through a graph. So we have our x and our y axis. The y axis is the question difficulty level. This will become very important once we get into our CAT sequence. And on the x axis is simply just a tracker of the question number. The final important horizontal line we want to talk about is the pass threshold. This is basically just a mathematical line that's going to help the engine determine if you've passed or failed the exam. So, how does this actually work? So let's talk about that A again, adaptive. What does that mean? That means it adapts to you as the test taker. How does it do that? Well, every question that you answer impacts your next question. So let's take a look. So say for question number one, it's going to start you off at a question that's typically a lower difficulty level. And if you've studied, you're probably going to get this question right. And then the next question is going to be slightly more difficult. You see that? That's why you can't move on to the next question without first answering one, because the test has to see if you got the question right or wrong. So let's say you got number two wrong. The next question is going to be slightly easier. And you'll see in any adaptive test, you're going to have a lot of zigzagging. If you were to open the hood of an adaptive test, you would see this whole bunch of zigzagging and weaving. Why? Because the goal or the point of any adaptive test is to get test takers at a point where they get every other question wrong. Now, while all this is happening, there's one other thing we have to talk about, which is the confidence interval. So this basically is a mathematical range that the test engine is saying, okay, I think this test taker is within this range. Now watch what happens. When it gets more data, when you answer more questions, this range is going to get more and more narrow. It's going to shrink. And that is basically becoming more precise in its range of where you are as a test taker. And that's where the passing threshold comes in because the confidence interval is going to shrink and it's going to hang out either above or below the passing threshold. Let's take a look at a CAT engine output of a real test taker who sat through CyberVista's CSSP CAT final. So we'll call this test taker Patty because Patty is a passer. So for Patty, she studied a lot, so she did well at the beginning of the test. And you could see the test ends at question 100 for Patty. Why? Because 100 questions is the minimum number of questions on the CSSP exam, and at that point, her overall score and confidence interval range is well above the passing threshold. So let me kind of translate that for you. So again, the confidence interval is basically the computer saying, I am 95% sure that this person is in that range. Now, if we were to look at that range early on, like question one or two, it's obviously a huge range and it straddles the pass threshold. So that's not really helpful to figure out if somebody's going to pass or not. So the engine's going to feed you more data. And by question 100, the engine is saying, I am 95% sure that Patty is within this range. And that range is well above the past threshold. So congratulations, Patty. You are now a CSSP, and it's time to go celebrate. Now you're probably wondering, what if at question 100, the confidence interval and overall score is not above or below the past threshold, but it's actually straddling it? Well, glad you asked. And enter Claudia. So Claudia is Claudia because it's going to be close. So at question 100, again, she is straddling the past threshold. So what happens? The test will feed you more questions. It will feed you up to 50 more questions because the maximum number of questions on the CSSP exam is 150, and the minimum is 100. And after question 100, the test could end at any point. So for Claudia, the test actually ends at 115 because for her, her overall score and confidence interval range is below the past threshold. So the test ends at that point, and sorry Claudia, you got to study a little bit more. If you're prepping for a championship baseball game, you're not going to prep for that game by playing cricket. And what's true in sports should be true for your CSSP exam studies. The practice test that you take right before the real thing should be the same exam format. 
That's why Cyber Vista has the industry's only CSSP CAT engine, so you can have a realistic test taking experience before you walk into the real thing. We also have detailed reporting from a domain, subdomain, and item level, so you can see your proficiency levels in each domain. If you're interested in learning more, visit us at cybervista.net slash certify, and we'll see you in class.